what would the holidays be without these beautiful Christmas trees? <laughs> but did you know there's actually an art to decorating your festive foliage? You don't just put everything on there? No! Oh, okay. Come on! Here uh, to show us how it's done is designer and decorator Roseanne Drew. Roseanne, thank you so much for being here. Thank you. Yes. These trees are gorgeous. My tree yes. never looks this good. Mm -mm, me either. <laughs> <laughs> it's a lot simpler than you think. Really? Okay. Well, yeah. before we get to all the decorating, you have to settle the age-old argument. Artificial tree or real living tree? Artificial. I prefer artificial. Okay. Yeah. There we go. I'm yeah. an artificial guy myself. I love that. Although the pine does smell good, it's safer, yeah, right? Yeah, but you can always get yourself a small wreath in the house that's made of um, live branches. Okay. Um, an artificial tree is a lot better because it's safer, mm -hmm. okay? Less of a fire hazard. Oh, okay. yes. That's and true. the metal on the, the branches, you can help utilize them to help decorate. Oh, because they're stronger, they can support all the decorations, right? right? And, if okay. and if your ornaments are heavy, they hold them a lot better. Good. Okay, so okay. what are the hot decorating trends right now? Hot decorating trends right now are silver is um, really popular this year. Mm. Silver. They're mixing up silver okay. with red, they're mixing up silver with blue. Okay. Um, the other trend is this material that we're seeing. Um, which it's I will like show tool? you. It's a tool. It's okay. a tool oh. that. Um... Ooh, this is Beautiful. pretty. Yeah. Ooh, I like it. <laughs> I want to wear it. There you go. Now, when you're decorating with the silver and these colors, should you I'm still decorating. use the white lights or like the silver tinted lights? You should lights? always use white lights. Oh, always. You always. Even oh. if you like color, you should mm -hmm. always base your tree on with white lights first and mm -hmm. then adding color in afterwards. Oh, but I color lights or color decorations? Colored lights. You okay. Can, you first would base having all white lights in there and then Beautiful. adding some strands of color lights inside. The white nice. lights make it sparkle. Oh, that's white smart. lights make it okay. sparkle. All right. Like so you that. start with the lights first, is that true? First you start with the lights and the reason we do that is because we want to hide as much of the green wire as possible. Oh. Okay. So you just stuff it all in all there this, and the, all the stuffing on the inside, not on, on the base of of the tree. Well, what we do is we kind of wrap um, individual little branches so oh, that... That must take forever. It's a little time consuming, <laughs> yes. On average, how long does it take to decorate a tree yeah. like this one or this one over here? Well, on average, it takes about three to four hours. Three to four really? hours? Yes. Oh, that's a lot of eggnog. No wonder why mine doesn't look like that in <laughs> only a half an hour. A that's why you have to have a tree a trimming party. Oh, that's, that's true. true. That's, and that was so fun. I went to one last night. They're a lot of fun. Yeah, really? Oh. Are you didn't invite yeah. me? Yeah. Sorry, sorry. So um, the, the next thing that you would do is you would... Um, so we've got our lights we first. We've got our lights first. So okay. then what ornaments and next? No. Ribbon? Next, next we would add some we would add some ribbon in. Oh ribbon. Really? Okay. And um, what we just do with the ribbon is we just like make waves, crunch it a little bit, mm. and just and you're soften. tucking it inside the tree, yes. not just on the bottom No, no, no. Border. We're just tucking it in. Okay. And and that's the next thing would go in would be ribbon. Now, and it's like an over under technique. Yes. Okay. Oh, like waving. 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 Okay. okay, well now these trees look very elaborate. So you obviously had a theme picked out before you started. Is it always important to have a theme or can you just go what with whatever's usually, in the Christmas what I, box? What I usually <laughs> recommend to people is take a look at your home. If you mm -hmm. think that your home is more on the modern side, then maybe go with the silvers. But if your home is more like warm and traditional, yeah. then maybe you want to go with the red and gold and green greens in your home. Um, and there are some people that just like that fun thing of doing like Santa snowman mm. and which is more of a fun coloring. Yeah, that is cute. <laughs> so what about these modern trees like the hot pink tree or mm -hmm. the all black tree if you're like a, a punk you, rock grunge type person? Um, like that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You've seen those. More eclectic. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's more eclectic. Um, again, it can be done very tastefully. Mm -hmm. It's just you have to make sure that you're not overpowering one one color over another color. You have to, it's a balancing of colors when mm. it comes to that. And it also seems like a layering process. It what is. else is involved in this layering okay. process? After the, next, after the ribbon. The, the, after the ribbon, then the next thing would be you would take, let's say, a, a floral pick. Okay. Oh, I did that this year. Shape it out. What Just because it was left over. These are, these are floral picks. Oh, I, want I didn't know I was being okay. stylish. Oh, okay, <laughs> so what do we do? Show you me just what shape you do. it. You would just shape it out. Okay. Open it up. Shape oh. it out. Oh, this one down here. Okay. Okay. Make it more full, right? Right. Make it fuller, and okay. then you would just add in your piece. Oh, I know where oh. I want to put mine. Right. Okay. You look for the <laughs> empty spot, right? Right here. There you go. Perfect. Nice. Ooh. 
Oh, <laughs> Shannon, cool. you do it. All right, I'm, I don't know if I can get it right. I'm not as, yeah, you, can, you know, That's good another as, flower, it doesn't matter, gold, oh, red. Oh, so you matter. can mix the colors then. You can, oh yes, so, if, you're doing, if you're doing a theme of gold okay, and red, you should put it definitely. Okay. Go for it, Shannon. All right, right up here in this empty spot up top. Nice. But wait, is it too close to this other one? No. Like, I'm like, I was you like, can, balance. You could, you can group them where, uh, think about okay. nature, like flowers mm -hmm. are, are you know, together. You can. It doesn't okay. matter. You can, you can separate them a little bit. You can mm -hmm. cluster them a little bit. Okay. Um, you have, you're supposed to have fun when you're doing your tree. Yeah. yeah we're having fun. Okay. So. Let's keep the party going. <laughs> okay. All right, okay. So now what is this? That's a different Ooh. type of. These are different like type of picks. That could go in your hair. It's okay. like a feather, right? <laughs> these are just different type of picks. Okay. This is what you just did with the. Um, different types of flowers, but they're all still staying right. in your color theme. Yes. Okay. Put that in okay. Here. And these are just. We decorate you. Yeah. <laughs> oh, now we're both decorated. <laughs> these are these are leaves, okay. Um, uh -huh. And what we do, the leaves help give the tree dimension. Mm -hmm. If you can tell, I'm when I'm placing them, I'm placing myself. them on the outer. Here, just, I'm, I'm, I'm pa placing them where they're a, where they stand out a little bit. Oh, okay. So it so, helps uh, give the tree dimension where there's depth. And yet, wow! There we go. Okay, now I got to ask you about like keepsake ornaments because we have some very expensive family heirloom type things. Should we put those on the tree or put them somewhere safe for like the fireplace mantle? Well, I say if you're going to make a collection of ornaments, that mm -hmm. you should show them off. Okay. If you're using an artificial tree, it's quite safe. Mm -hmm. Tie them up tightly, gotcha. and they should be perfectly okay to okay. show them off. Like you know, that. if you have, let's say, one maybe really large ball that's really mm. very expensive, maybe that would look nice being on the mantle on an ornament hanger. Santa. <laughs> what are we doing with him? Santa. Well, <laughs> um, I always like using some big pieces in the tree, too, that mm. um, accent on an accent on the tree. How do you put that on the tree without it tipping over? Oh, they won't, if when your tree is decorated all the way around, it won't. It okay. Won't, uh, all right. This and I've all you would see. do is, let's say, choose a spot. <laughs> Wind him up. Ah, uh, get make sure and it's then secure. Just, yeah, just secure him, and then just have him Don't put hanging out there. over there. Oh, look at him! Just hanging out. He's so just cute. Over there. Oh, there nice. you go. <laughs> now, what about that He's silver chilling. tinsel stuff? Since silver is in this year, mm. is that too tacky to put That's on a too tree? Tacky. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> We Good, so we didn't do that this we've year. We've evolved from that. <laughs> okay, we've evolved. We'll use this type of stuff yeah. instead, right? These Decorating are great Lola. too. Yeah, we are moving something in here. We are going, as you can tell, we're using oh. um, within the wreath. Okay, okay so, so this so is a wreath. This oh, is a okay, wreath. wreath time. So right. how do we uh, make this as pretty well, and as gorgeous take, and as take, chic as the other one? You would take one of these, okay, okay. and you would sure. work it in. These leaves, like I said, are, are metal inside. You just twist it around to secure it inside. I like these on me too. Working. <laughs> decoration going on. You're my favorite. You're gonna have tree. so much <laughs> glitter <laughs> on you. Oh, oh, wait, wait, oh, wait, 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 you're gonna have so gosh, much glitter. Oh gosh. <laughs> and then you and then you will continue. <laughs> now, can you layer these on here? Yeah, you just you just continue going around. Ooh, so. So do you just okay? So you. Hold it in there. All right, there's Not an empty there. spot right there. Put that in there. And then you just sort of. Bend now you can do this with a real down. reef or. A, um, a real reef, right? you would need floral wire, which yeah. is. It comes on a spool. Okay. And so you unspool this. You would cut a piece. Cut a piece off. And oh, then, you okay. would tie, then you would have to tie it into the ribbon. Got you. So you would tie it in there. Right. All right. Now these bows are very popular, especially okay. on reefs. Right. How do you tie the perfect bow? I mean, okay. this thing is Okay, first of all, huge. I'm going to teach you how to make one of these bows. Oh, we're going to make oh, one? Oh, yes. All right. This is okay, so be here's fun. your here's Let's do, let me fix Who would like to do this? We both want to do it. Yeah. Okay. Then okay. So you can tell, both take a piece of right. wire because you're going to need you. that. So we get wire first. A little wire piece of wire first. And, and then each of you take some. How long take should we that. take? How long should the and ribbon be? And I think I had. Which I'm horrible at this. I can't even tie a bow on a present. Well, I have a little so. bit of a problem. <laughs> <laughs> uh oh. Did we lose something? Yeah. Roll the ribbon. I think fell somewhere. Oh. Okay. Well, well, oh, actually, well. you know what? I'll Show us with this. this one. Okay. Yeah. There we I'll go. just take this little piece of. Ribbon. Okay. 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 So you're just gonna make. Loop it over. A loop it over. Okay. Do a second loop. Okay. Second loop next to it. Right. Okay. And then you would do a third loop okay. after third. that. Do we cut it first? No. You okay. just use it right from the row. So three right loops. From. But the third oh, loop, yeah. okay. The first two loops are next to each other. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. The third loop you would bring around to here. Oh, in front of it. Front so of the it. two and then the third then one, the third bring one it around to the side. Right. Okay, got that? How are you doing? So it looks like that. Well, you, you got two. that. You got that. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, what? 
<laughs> Puff it up a little bit. Not okay. on the arts and crafts already. No. <laughs> no. And then you just take the third loop and you just put it on oh, the front. Oh, now I And then I you would just take your wire. And wrap it. And then wrap it. Okay. Now, is it okay if it gets a little crunchy in there? Well, it it's takes like a little practice. Yeah. <laughs> Clearly. So no. yeah. It takes a little practice. And then, and then you would cut it. Then you cut it. Okay. Now this is oh, a little one. And then one. you would just take the wire, uh -huh. okay, and I'm just going to have you place that here. Just ah. tie it in into the... Oh, so you'd make a bunch of little ones and then you can put them around. Right. And this doesn't go with your color theme, so I'll put it on this tree back here that okay. it matches <laughs> this tree. Okay. That bow is exquisite. Right yeah, my bow looks a little flat. And then I don't know if it's working right. If you um. continue doing those loops, you would make a big bow. <laughs> ah, gotcha, gotcha. Ooh. That is very festive. Now, do you have any, any overall tips for people that are decorating? You mentioned have fun. What else do we need to keep in mind when decorating our reef or our tree or our Lola? Well, if you have, <laughs> if you have young children, I would recommend using <laughs> plastic balls instead of glass balls uh, because Hi, children. Christmas. Happy holidays. <laughs> so plastic so they don't have to worry about breaking them. Plastic, okay. right. And then I would also recommend, because a lot of children want to be, in, of course you want to have them involved with decorating yes. yeah. the family mm -hmm. tree. So what I recommend is um, most homes these days having two trees. The sophisticated tree, um, which is the main tree that when people are, um, when they're having Christmas parties. Uh -huh. And then they have a second tree where they'll have their, ch where they have their children do. And I suggest like maybe taking, if the children have a collection of let's say Disney, um, Disney um, stuffed animals. Oh yeah. Or, just take your, we did that. We did you don't have to tree. go out and buy anything. Just see what's in your kid's room and then take That's those things idea. and add them into the tree. You can there have like go. little G.I. Joes and yeah, Barbies well, hanging. Barbies. If you can have a Ken and Barbie and you can make a little cute little girl tree with Aww. the, you know, as couples on That's the tree. Or you can idea. decorate each other and have a Lola tree. Oh, yeah. <laughs> or a Santa tree. Santa tree. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank we you appreciate so much. Happy it. Happy holidays. Decorate a festive event. Happy holidays. <laughs> You're watching Arise Entertainment 360. Happy holidays. Happy holidays.